Today we are covering F5 TMOS administration. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Question is, one of the two members of a device group has been decommissioned. The big IP administrator tries to delete the device group but is unsuccessful. Prior to removing the device group, which action should be performed? Option A. Disable the device group. Option B. Remove all members from the device group. Option C. Remove the decommissioned device from the device group. Option D. Make sure all members of the device group are in sync. Correct answer is option B. Next question is a big IP administrator is configuring an SSH pool with five members. Which health monitor should be applied to ensure that available pool members are monitored accordingly. Option A HTTPS Option B UDP Option C HTTP Option D TCP Correct answer is Option D. Next question is a big IP administrator is configuring a pool with members who have differing capabilities. Connections to pool members must be load balanced appropriately. Which load balancing method should the big IP administrator use? Option A. Least sessions. Option B. Least connections member. Option C. Fastest node. Option D. Weighted least connections member. Correct answer is option D. Next question is the big IP appliance fails to boot. The big IP administrator needs to run the end user diagnostics EUD utility to collect data to send to F5 support. Where can the big IP administrator access this utility? Option A. Console port. Option B. Internal VLAN interface. Option C. External VLAN interface. Option D. Management port. Correct answer is option A. Next question is a 8IG IP administrator configures a node with a standard ICMP health monitor. The node shows as down although the backend server is configured to answer ICMP requests. Which step should the administrator take next to find the root cause of this issue? Option A. Run a curl run a QK view. Option B. Run a QK view. Option C. Run a TCP dump. Option D. Run a NSSL dump. Correct answer is option C. Next question is a big IP administrator needs to install a hotfix on a standalone big IP device which has HD 1.1 as the active bot active boot location. The big IP administrator has already reactivated the license 
and created an UCS archive of the configuration in which sequence should the big IP administrator perform the remaining steps. Option A. Install hotfix in HD 1.1. Reboot the big IP device. Install UCS archive. Option B. Install hotfix in HO 1.2. Install base image in HD 1.2. Activate HD 1.2. Option C. Install base image in HD 1.2. Install hotfix in HD 1.2. Activate HD 1.2. Option D. Activate HD 1.2. Install base image in HD 1.2. Install hotfix in HD 1.2. Correct answer is option C.